guys, you're watching Keith Street Up, and I'm your host, Caitlin, and today we're going to make some really delicious and creamy and perfect for Thanksgiving mashed potatoes. They are garlic mashed potatoes. They are awesome. You guys are going to love them, and they're super easy. So I host Thanksgiving every year, either for friends and family or both, and I love to make everything homemade. Now, Thanksgiving is one of the best holidays to host, in my opinion, because you could kind of spend your time cooking for it over a day or two. Thanksgiving favorites and classics, they heat up okay, and so you could kind of always kind of cook some stuff in advance and have some really great dishes on the day of the holiday. It's one of my favorite holidays to host. I'm hosting my entire family this year, including my beautiful new niece, little Hadley. I can't wait for her to come. And I'm hoping, I don't think it's gonna be happening, but I'm hoping by the time she comes for Thanksgiving, she can eat some mashed potatoes. We're gonna start by peeling up about five to six, depending on how many guests you're having, you might need to do more, russet potatoes. We're just gonna give them a nice peel, and then we're adding them to a pot of water that we're gonna boil for about 20 to 25 minutes. When your potatoes are nice and peeled, that's when they're ready for the water, so get them on in there and get their water boiling. So you're gonna first cook your potatoes on high heat, let them kind of boil up and get them into a rolling boil. You're then gonna lower it down to medium and let them cook for about 20 to 25 minutes until they are soft and you can kind of start mashing them apart. You don't want them to be too soft, so you do have to monitor your potatoes and make sure that they are the perfect consistency. After your potatoes are boiled and they're nice and soft, you're gonna strain them out get rid of some of the liquid and put them into a large mixing bowl. Now, my potato masher that I received at my bridal shower years and years ago got somehow lost. I think my husband threw it out because he hated putting it away in the draw. So we don't have a potato masher anymore. That is a great way for me to show you that you can mash up your potatoes with anything. I just have a nice little wooden tool here that I'm gonna do. And you're just gonna start mashing up your potatoes just a little bit so that you can eventually mix them with the rest of your ingredients. Now it's time to get your other ingredients that are really gonna make these garlic mashed potatoes really pop, ready, so that when your potatoes are all mashed, you can mix it all together. So we're starting with about two tablespoons of butter that we're gonna let melt up stove top. We're then adding about three to four tablespoons of minced garlic. Depending on how many potatoes you have and how garlicky you want these garlic mashed, that's how much you're gonna add. Once the garlic's added to the butter, we're gonna let it cook together and just kind of stir it so it doesn't burn, but make sure that that garlic gets a chance to really kind of cook up and soak into that butter. There's nothing I despise more than watery mashed potatoes, so I'm only adding a cup and a half of almond milk. Some recipes will call for a heavy cream or buttermilk, but I like to keep my recipes as healthy as possible, which is why I'm substituting for an almond milk. We got a little bit of some pepper, do it up to taste, and a little bit of salt. I don't like to add a lot of salt to anything I cook. I don't think it's good for you, so I try to limit it, but add as much salt as you want to taste. Give this a final stir. You're not cooking this on high, you're just getting it on medium, just so that it's nice and warm when it mixes in with your potatoes. Final ingredient, I just like to add about two tablespoons of some nice parsley. I do this mostly for color and also because my nanny always added parsley to our mashed potatoes. I'm not sure why, but she loved it that way, so I do too. So if you've got any final mashing to do here with your potatoes, get them nice and mashed up. And it's time to add our other ingredients that we were adding. So just go ahead and just drizzle that mixture all over top. Then we're getting out our electric hand beater and we're just gonna beat them until they're nice and whipped. You're just gonna kind of beat them together. You wanna do like medium to high speed on your electric mixer and just keep beating them until all of your large chunks of your potatoes are out. After that, we're adding one final touch and these garlic mash are done and ready for your Thanksgiving table. So when your garlic mashed are all beat up and nice and whipped together, there's one other ingredient that I like to add. I like to add just a little bit of some scallion to my garlic mashed potatoes. I just love chive in mashed potatoes. I think it just really adds an extra flavor. So go ahead and just chop some up. And then we're just gonna take our garlic mashed, add them to it, perfect. And give it a nice stir so that it's nice and mixed throughout your potatoes. Then there's nothing else to do but to get your delicious garlic mashed potatoes plated up and ready for your table and do what every good home cook does, get a clean fork and taste 
your recipe. I hope you enjoy this garlic mashed potato recipe. It is going to be a hit at your Thanksgiving dinner or any dinner or any time that you're craving mashed potatoes. You're going to love this homemade recipe. It's super simple. You could skip the box. You can make it homemade. You could feel accomplished and it doesn't take too much time or too many steps. That's what we like to do here on Kate Straight Up Cooking. I love showing you guys my recipes. Make sure to include any requests below. Find me on Instagram, Kate Straight Up Cooking. And other than that, guys, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.